for some odd reason, it seems to be a recurring theme within K-pop and the industry to constantly find something, anything, that you can get your hands on when it comes to idols and their behavior and things that they've done in the past and all this stuff just to accomplish some kind of goal. I don't know what the goal is, but for a particular individual who has been leaking all of this information that we don't really need to know about, about idols, it seems to me that this person's ultimate goal is to purge the industry of all the bad apples and basically to, t to wag their tails in the faces of these companies, these K-pop companies, and tell them, hey, you know, maybe you should do a better job of managing your artists. So this is like them trying to teach the industry and the companies a lesson, while at the same time telling them to kick these people out. And that if they don't do something about the behavior of these idols, they're going to expose more idols for being human, basically. You know, I, I, I don't know how, how safe I can be today. Um, I'm a little annoyed with the news. However, this came to my attention, so I gotta, I gotta talk about it because it's really annoying to see this kind of behavior from people that seemingly don't have any other life outside of trying to expose other people's lives and to try to point the finger and talk about how morally wrong these idols are and yet what you're doing is morally wrong at trying to expose people who you shouldn't know anything about. And the thing is, is that this person claims to be an ex-friend of sung -on, if I'm not mistaken, trying to expose him. I feel like, because some people might be like, well, it could be an ex-friend. Here's my feeling here. People in the industry have been doing this for a long time. Ever since the Me Too movement, ever since all this other crap didn't happen, people have been doing this more often. Coming out as a friend of this idol or an ex-friend of this idol only for the purpose of basically saying, since I came out as this person's friend, you should know that anything I say is true about this person. Because, like, who would know them better than their friend? So, yeah, it's easy to come out and call yourself a friend of somebody and nobody can confirm or deny that, right? And you can just say whatever you want and mess up people's reputations. And then when people try to hold you accountable for what you said about an idol, you try to deflect and place the blame on the idol for having done what you just put out there that he did. When the truth is you had no business trying to investigate and look for something wrong in these idols in the first place. So the blame really falls to the predator, not the prey in this instance. So for those who don't know, Rises Sung On has been in the news for a minute and he's back again because this exposer guy is trying to, or girl, I don't know who, what, what uh, gender it is, but they're, th this person is trying to expose Sung On again. And there's two articles that I, I did post on my community post, but I'm only going over the one that really, really matters because it, it paints the picture of someone with a massive hero complex who is trying to, like I said, purge the industry and they think they're doing the industry a kindness and a service by doing this. They're creating a problem that only they can solve and they want to be the hero of their own story. So that's that's kind of what I'm getting from all this. So I'm not going to go over the article where he's smoking. Everybody like <laughs> smoking's looked down upon in Korea. We all know this in K-pop. It sets a bad example for the kids, blah, blah, blah. We know. And I'm not trying to downplay it. I'm just saying that like there's a bunch of idols that smoke. I <laughs> As long as he's not doing anything illegal. Uh, last I checked, smoking's not illegal. And he's of age to do so, I believe, in this, in the photo. Which I'm not going to show the video of it. It's already gotten negative attention. I don't need to perpetuate that negative attention further by posting the video of him smoking on my channel. Other channels can do that. I'm not doing it. Because then I'm just further perpetuating it. And I don't want to give it any more glory than what it's already gotten any more spotlight than it's already gotten. He smoked. I'm sure there's a photo floating around somewhere of him smoking. I don't need to show you that. Uh, <laughs> and I'm, I'm not going to show it because I, I want to respect something that these people can't seem to do. Respect his privacy, but whatever. 
So he's in the news again, and this is the bigger part of the news that I'm going to actually talk about, which is this article here. And I, may, I guess I'll just read the whole article. It says, Rise member Sung Un's exposure says New Jeans, Harin, and Boy Next Door's Taesun are next. So this person has a freaking hit list of idols that they want to expose within the industry. And it's a sad thing to see, and it's very scary, because I told you guys before, there's dirt on just about every human being on the planet, especially the ones who are in the public eye. If you try to dig up the dirt from everybody you don't like, <laughs> there won't be many K-pop idols left in the industry. Like, this is not going to hold people accountable or it's not going to do what these people think it's going to do. You're getting praised for being a hero, even though you're actually the villain. Just because you're trying to expose people for doing things that normal humans do, like no one harassed anyone, no one raped anyone, no one essayed anyone in any of these things. You want to talk about bullying from like back in the day, like the olden days when like, I don't know, elementary school, middle school, even high school. Let people live and learn. I just, I don't understand why people can't let other people live and learn and become better people. This is not helping anyone. Like, can someone tell me when was the last time trying to cancel somebody actually helped someone? Because I can't think of a single moment. And I'm not talking about Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby, okay? I'm talking about, like, people who aren't <laughs> sexual predators, <laughs> right? I'm talking about people who haven't done anything inhumane. People that smoke, just like a lot of people smoke. People who go to hunting bars when a lot of Korean people go to hunting bars. People who curse when a lot of other people curse. Like, things that you do on a daily, idols are getting exposed for and saying that they are bad. With, like, people who have YouTube channels, believe it or not, some of them have bullied people <laughs> before. They were bullies before they were YouTubers. But you'd never know that because they're not important people, right? They're not important. Idols are more important. So we got to expose the more important people so that we can feel good about ourselves, which is just lame. It's lame. Anyway, uh, going on, my little rant. I, like I said, I don't know how nice I'm going to be in this video. So y'all going to have to bear with me. I'm trying to be cordial. The article reads, on November 16th, an anonymous Twitter user who allegedly went to the same middle school as Rise's Sung Han leaked videos oh God, of Sung Han's private Instagram with TXT's Subin and more. This expose has sent shockwaves through the K-pop fandoms. The expose initially focusing on Sung Han has now taken a drastic turn. The revelation that New Jeans Harin and Boy Next Door's Taesun are the next targets on the exposers list. The Twitter user tweeted, there are three more shocking news. Ha ha. If SM doesn't take any action within a week, I'll be exposing all of them. Once those are out, K-pop fandoms will be wrecked, especially those of the fourth gen groups and it's a shame that only the girl was let go when they were both under the same label shake my head lol i'm probably not saying the name right and i apologize hong sung Han spread the pictures but only the girl was let go stay tuned oh that was the end of the quote i think by the way all of that was a quote so i apologize i should have said quote in quote i apologize but yeah it goes on to say there are multiple rumors on the street one of those is that Boy Next Door's Taesan is close friends with Sung Han as they both went to the same middle school. Taesan's girlfriend then introduced Il It's Young So. I'm sorry if I, I probably butchered that. So Sung Han and the two are dating. Really? Additionally, Sung Han also mentioned New Jeans Harin as his type. However, on November 18th, the said Twitter user deleted her account. What do you think? What do I think? I think it's a bunch of nonsense. I'm a bit annoyed, if I'm being honest. I'm annoyed with the level of entitlement that these people think they have. This person and this, this, honestly, 
this is all I need right here is this quote. This is all I need right here. There are three more shocking news. Ha ha. If SM doesn't take any action within a week, I'll be exposing all of them. Once those are out, K-pop fandoms will be wrecked. So this person is not doing this to help anyone. He's doing it to cause problems. Or she, whoever. They're doing this to cause problems. They're doing this to stir up trouble. Drama. Once those are out, K-pop fandoms will be wrecked. Especially those of the fourth gen groups. But it's funny because some of these comments are actually against this. Usually they're for these kinds of things. But these comments that some of these people made are actually against them. One commenter says they acting like they exposing idols for offing someone. If SM doesn't take any action within a week, I'll be exposing all of them. Please. Skeletons. Yeah, exactly. Another person said, to the petty person, grow up. You're not in middle school anymore. Thank you. Thank you. This is immature. This is some immature bratty person who's trying to further sully these people's names. Talking about, oh, they'll be, uh, it'll be wrecked. This is why I say kids, kids don't need to be on the internet too much. And look, I don't know how old this person is, but every time I see something like this, I always feel like these are kids. Because that's what it, that's what it feels like. These are kids. These are children. You, are you really that bitter? Are you really that bitter? So we need to pray for these people because something's wrong with them. Something's wrong with the minds of our youth. It's just sad. It's sad to see it. It's sad to see it. It's sad to, to look at it like this is what you guys are doing with your spare time. Oh, by the way, because there was a mention of him having a live stream with Subin and them saying something. I, I looked it up and apparently it was mistranslated. They were actually poking fun at each other. They were not poking fun at a girl group member. They, they were not. They were not. And this person is trying to dig up. First of all, it's none of your business that this person was smoking. It's none of your business. It's none of our business that these people were doing things in the past. Everyone has a past. <laughs> and some people's past is a little uglier than others. But what this kid and what all some of these other people did was mild compared to people unaliving other people, essaying other people, harassing, like beating people. Like, come on. And even if they got into fights when they were younger, they're an idol now. Let them learn. Let them humble themselves. When people try to humble other people, it doesn't always work well. People let that person humble themselves. Everyone has a humbling experience in life. That humbling experience needs to come from a genuine place, not a place of somebody trying to be nasty or rude or mean or disrespectful. Like you're the villain of the story that you think you're the hero of doing all this stuff. So maybe you should look in the mirror and realize that what you're doing is the actual problem. Like, oh, I've got more stuff coming out. Are you trying to be relevant? Are you doing this for clout? Are you doing this to gain a reputation? Are you doing this for money? Are you doing, like, what are you doing this for? Is it really worth it? All this stupidity? Is it really worth it? And it is, it's stupidity. No matter how you look at it or slice it, it's all stupid. When it gets down to the nitty gritty of it, it's all stupid, it's all petty, and you're wasting your time. You really are wasting your time. So that's all I gotta say about this, really. Not much. I thought I was gonna have a ton more to say, but this person is a child, a petty, disgusting child who needs to be disciplined, who needs to understand the value of privacy, right? And how maybe, maybe I should research who this anonymous person is dig up their past. We'll see what happens then. When the shoe's on the other foot, it's always, you know, oh no, no, it's not me, it's them. You know, because we got to hold other people accountable for what we did wrong. But <laughs> when it's not us, oh, let's go expose this person. Let's go, let, yes, let's, let's be the heroes. Let's be the, you're not, you're not doing anyone a favor. Your intentions are to cause problems. In but so many words you just stated within this quote of yours that the K-pop fandoms will be wrecked. 
when you expose these people. Because that's what you want. You want chaos. You want chaos. This is a child who just did not grow up well. I, I'm, I'm just like, where's your common sense? Where's your human decency? Where's your respect for people's privacy? It just, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. But yeah, that's all I got to say about it, honestly. I realize that this person is just a bratty, immature child. Jealous and a coward. They won't reveal who they are. It even said that they deleted their account after all this stuff. Because they are a petty, disgusting person. So... That's all I'm going to say. Let me know what you guys think about it. This I'm going to make a video just kind of summarizing my thoughts about the culture of today and people doing this stuff. Just talking about that. I'm going to make a video just talking about that. No news or anything. Just exposing idols and exposing people out of, because of jealousy or whatever your reasons are. I'm going to talk about that. I also want to talk about the positives and negatives of a parasocial relationships within K-pop. I've, I've been brewing on this topic for a long while now, so I'm going to make a topic about it and talk about that as well. So uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. It'll be your boy Abe signing out. Peace. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.